the director is being just like insanely nice today, and it's weird. Um, I'm not used to it. He 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 gave me a Danish, but I, I can't tell if it's poisoned or not. But it's cream cheese flavored. It was delicious. All right. What's happening? Ah! Roasted, 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 roasted. Rolling. Action first cut. Second. That was pretty good. So, uh, what was it like uh, working on the film? Oh man, it was it was it was such it was a lot of fun. Um, the set was high energy, and uh, honestly, there's there's not much, not many folks better than uh, than director Brian Ernst. He's got his uh, his stuff together, if you will. So, Brian, so right now we're setting up for you said the Jaws shot. Nathan has deemed the Jaws shot. I have to agree with him. It's a great title. It's set up is the big shot. This is Corky going up against the giant tower of solo cups. Check out the height on those bros, dude. This is the biggest shot we were worried about, and we're actually nailing it right now, so that's pretty cool. And on to the next setup. Here we go. Have it be, actually, I kind of like it. It's kind of loose. Like that look. This is crazy. This is... <laughs> but now, ooh, you see that red light? We're moving to the final evil moment where the pyramid of solo cups is finally defeated by our hero, Corky. And we're having a lot of fun uh, making inanimate objects feel like animate characters. Thanks for sticking with us. Corky will go home. You know, uh, most people, you know, they choose things with faces, you know, dolls, those kind of things. So it was cool that there's finally a place for corkscrews to act. The barrier. Set up of the day, last set up of the day. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Did you do all your own stunts? I did. Yeah, I did. Um, it, uh, but the stunts were kind of scary. The scariest, obviously, was. director had um, confidence in me and he and he told me if I couldn't do it he'd find someone who would so